The search for this property has been completed, and that is why I am in the middle of the Birchwood Resorts. It is now an abandoned property. This is where the capture occurred, but I really want to give you a sense of how sort of creepy this property is. Take a look at this. This is just one building after another, just abandoned, an old resort here in Pocono Township, Monroe County. Now, we don't know if he was here the entire time, but we do know that yesterday U.S. Marshals came here and they saw him walking towards the hangar that is just down the road from where I am. Let's take a look at the video that I shot about an hour and a half ago. That video shows that there was a big wide runway and a big abandoned hangar. The U.S. Marshals took him down. Apparently he was quite surprised that he was being arrested. Now, in, earlier in the day, I talked to a property owner who is beside this property, and he walks the property quite often, and he said it was really surprising on Wednesday. He saw the registration door of this compound open, and he thought it was strange, but he really didn't think Freeing could be this far and hiding here. You know, so far away from the search area. You know, that's why we, we weren't afraid. I mean, we weren't thinking that, you know, there's no way he's going to be down here. That's why I didn't even call the police. When I saw the doors open, I said, Oh, come on, they're going to laugh at me. It's like 20 miles away. Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and here we are at the Birchwood Resort in the Pocono Mountains. And starting right out of the gate, we're going to go in and check out one of the cabins. One of the cool things about Birchwood Resort was the fact that there was very little vandalism. Uh, I think that has a lot to do with the fact that there is a security guard who works here and looks over the property. So we didn't know that when we went to film here and we thought it was going to be like Penn Hills, which if you haven't seen the Penn Hills episode in the Dead Motel series, I highly recommend that you go watch that as well. Uh, but we didn't know that the that this place had a security guard. So when we went, we found his office, and you'll see it later on in the video, but it definitely was a little unnerving finding this office with a light, a lamp on the desk with the light on, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. Here's one of the uh, two-level cabins, and you can see there's this little walkway here that overlooks the bed, and this cabin sits on the lake, which is actually quite nice. I like how they have the uh, little cubby there for the television built into the... Uh, brickwork and here's a bathroom with a toilet and bidet and here's one of the uh, whirlpool jacuzzi tubs now this resort is sitting on a piece of property that is absolutely beautiful 
It really is. It probably would have been a really nice place to go and stay in its day when it was still open. You can see here the lake, which is uh, part of the other lake that is on the other side of the road. This is another one of the resorts that sits on two sides of a road. And here's their motif, which was an eagle with kind of a heart underneath of it. And we're about to get a look inside of the rifle range, which is coming up. You're going to see a rifle range. This is, this is what is so incredible about Birchwood. You're going to see a rifle range. Let me think. Hold on. Rifle range, basketball court, uh, bowling alley, indoor swimming pool, indoor tennis courts, indoor putt-putt, uh, and I might be missing something, a nightclub, and a bar, and a big restaurant. So much stuff here. It's, it's incredible. Wait till you see all the stuff that is coming up. It's really cool. Here we go into where the basketball court is. This place has such a great vintage look. As you'll see some of the signage and stuff that is around, it's really cool. You know, what would have been a lot of fun is if I had come here a year before and had run into that cop killer, Eric Freen, lurking about the place. That would have been a lot of fun. That's something I always think about, you know, when you go into these places, you think, am I going to run into somebody? And, you know, it, 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 it is something that is very uh, heavy on my mind when I go into a place. Um, and if you think about running into a guy who is part of a huge manhunt, who's been evading capture for weeks and weeks and weeks who if you ran into him he would probably kill you i mean i don't think I, I don't know what else he would do he would probably end up killing you so that would be the end of my uh filmmaking career would be over and i would just be laying there me and my camera uh, hopefully my co-producer on this project will would have ran off and escaped but just thinking about it is a little bit creepy
here we are going into the tennis court area. This building is huge. And I believe they called this the Tennis Barn was the name that Birchwood gave this building. Basically, they would do everything they could to keep couples from leaving the resort, which in turn would make them spend more money, of course. Oh, look at this. This I love. It's like John Wayne, but he's protecting Birchwood. You do not want to screw with that guy. So here's a little putt-putt area. So what I was saying is Birchwood, you know, would do everything they could to keep couples on the res at the resort on site spending money, which is important. And uh, it worked for a long time. People have a lot of good memories at this place. Oh, here we go. The Birchwood Tennis Barn, as I said. If you honeymooned here, please leave your experience in the comments section below. I would love to hear stories about this place. There actually isn't a lot of information about it online, which is very strange. Uh, so I'd like to hear from people and hear their experiences that they had at Birchwood. Another very large room. I love the wallpaper in here. It's so great. It looks like they left up the wallpaper and switched out the carpet at some point, probably in the... Looking at the carpet, I'd say 90s, maybe 80s, 90s. I'm going to say 90s, like early 90s. What do you think? God. I think this is the last meal they prepared here. <laughs> oh my good God. So gross. So here is uh, one of the bars. There are two bars. Well, there well, actually there's one bar. There's this bar, and then downstairs below this is a nightclub called the Red Baron Den. And you can see they use these uh, World War One and maybe World War Two. I'm not quite sure motifs as the theme of these uh, nightclub bars. So we're going to go through here and go downstairs. This is probably my favorite part of the video is finding this vintage kind of sealed off time capsule of a nightclub. It's hard to believe that it's down there, uh, but this is the coolest part of this video for me. Maybe not for you, but I love this part of the video. So we're going to go in. It's right out of like... If you haven't seen Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, one of my favorite movies, and you'll hear a song from Beyond the Valley of the Dolls here in a minute, that's what this this little bar remind this little nightclub in here reminds me of. Anyway, have a look at this. It's crazy.
Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos in the Dead Motel series. There's a playlist uh, of episodes you can check out. Also, check out my other series, the Dead Mall series. And I want to thank you for watching.